So when you say that you and Sonny are having a baby, does that mean you're pregnant? No. But we're trying, so I will be. Really? Does Sonny know about this? Sonny wants another baby as much as I do. <laughs> Seriously doubt that. You know what? Carly, I am always going to appreciate you pulling me out of that car and saving my life. Okay, I would have done that for anybody. Let's just say that. You, you just can't lose a baby and replace it with another one. Obviously. And yet, Sonny and I are getting on better than we ever had. And now is the perfect time for us to have another baby, and we are planning to give our child everything that we never had. Yeah, that's a big fantasy for Sonny. To give his kids everything he never had. Yep. And you're obviously guilting Sonny into having another baby with you. But don't flatter yourself. It's really easy to guilt Sonny when it comes to his kids. You know what? Look at yourself, okay? Standing there. How pregnant are you with your husband's child and you're still trying to keep your claws in Sonny? You know what? I can't help it if you feel threatened by the place I hold in Sonny's life. You're the one who feels threatened. Please. Sonny and I are a perfect fit. And our child is going to have everything that we have to offer. That makes you feel like an outsider, huh? <laughs> I will never feel like an outsider. I'm the mother of Sonny's kids. We were married four times. Sonny and I have a connection that you will never break. You have this fantasy when it comes to him that you're the only woman that he could ever always be loyal to. But you're wrong. I mean, come on, you had your chance. You had your opportunity to be his wife, and you blew it four times. You're never going to understand him the way that I do, and you will never understand what it takes to run the Corinthos organization the way that I do. We're a perfect fit. I'm the only woman he ever needs. Get it? I've been to hell and back with Sonny. We've loved each other, we've hated each other, we've damn near killed each other. But it's over. We have no future. What we do have is a connection that you will never understand. Yeah, but does your husband understand how obsessed you are with your ex? Jax and Sonny have fought over everything and anything, and that's never going to change, and it has nothing to do with you. Jax and I love each other. We want the same kind of life. Sonny and I just don't. It's that simple. Okay, well, good. At least you understand that much. See, when Sonny and I have a child, when we have a son, he will be raised, he will be groomed to take over as the rightful heir of the Corinthos organization because that's a part of his life that I understand in a way that you never will. I can give him the kind of family that he needs. He has a family. And I'm warning you, don't mess with my kids or the relationship they have with their father. I'm not going to be pushed around by you or anyone and I am damn sure not afraid to fight for what's mine. You need to watch who you call out these days. The next time you find yourself trapped in a car that's about to explode, you'll be left on your own. Okay, before anybody else tells you, I just want to let you know that I had a little run-in with Carly at the Metro Court today. Okay, you see, you know that if the pressure goes up, she can stroke out or you even lose a baby, baby yeah, right? I know, because everybody knows. Why are you fighting with Carly? Why, why are you even talking to her? If you, if you run into her, just get along with you her. You know she's incredibly possessive of you. It's like you guys are still married. We're, Do you know that? We're connected because of the children and, you know, you didn't tell her that we're thinking of having a baby. Or what do you mean thinking? We made a clear decision. Yeah, but it was a private decision. We didn't agree not to tell anyone. But you, you, what's the big deal? You're not pregnant, so what are you thinking? I don't know. I'm sorry. Why don't you let me make it up to you? Well, you know what you want to make it up to me? It makes sure everything is fine when Dominic moves in. Excuse me? He's getting out of the hospital, uh, and he's going to need a place to stay until he gets on his feet. Do you have a, you have a problem with that? I don't like Dominic, okay? He worked for my father for over a year, and now supposedly he's loyal to you. Dominic saved my son's life. 
He's manipulating you. I mean, he's trying to get on your good side. He's got good instincts, and he got hurt saving Morgan's life. What do you want me to say? I got to keep an eye on him anyway. Okay. I'll make him feel welcome. Thank you. Well, it's what they call a compromise, right? Yeah. Uh, That's what marriage is supposed to be about. I give you something that you want. You give me something I want. Like... Is that any way to greet a wounded man? Don't get cute with me. Uh, why are you so hostile? Are you still afraid I'll tell Sonny you hired me to take out Jason Don't in the ambush? Don't threaten me, Dominic. I might feel the need to defend myself. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. I was just making our guests feel welcome. Mm -hmm. 